You went to NC State because they're the best over there, right? Yeah. Uh, Past three. Uh, he didn't like that one. I know. <laughs> he did not yeah, like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up everyone, my name is Carl Anthony Towns and this is We Got It. I'm here with six of Gatorade's National Player of the Year athletes and we're going to talk about what's going on in the world of high school sports. My question y'all is when did y'all have that moment of realization that maybe I am one of the best at this, not just the best in my little neighborhood, in my town, but I'm talking about you put me in any state Anywhere, any competition, I can guarantee you the competition has no chance. Probably my junior year, I ran at the USATF U20 Championship, and I ran the 100, and my 100 was kind of going back and forth all year between like a 10-2 and a 10-3, and then I went out there and I ran a 10-0, and it broke a U18 world record. I looked at it there, seeing that I was the fastest in the world in history at U18, I was like, okay, I could really make a difference in this sport. That's fire, that's fire, congrats. I've always been surrounded by running my whole entire life. My dad was a professional runner. I think it was just really cool seeing him um, going to these big meets and watching him run. But surprisingly, I hated running from like a small age. My freshman year two years ago was like when I really started getting into running just to be with friends and stuff. I just kept training, kept getting better. And then crossing the finish line at NXN like nationals, that was a big moment for me, it was so surreal. Um, I think it gave me a lot of confidence. It was a really big moment in my life. Do you think your friends are the reason that you are running even yeah, now? Yeah, I would give them complete credit to that. I can't believe y'all run the 11 miles in the cross country is... <laughs> the no. actual race is 5K. What's a 5K? It's like 3.1, yeah. 2 or 3. It's fast but, though. That's still yeah. too much. They run it. My fastest is 1639. There ain't miles, no way you're gonna get me minutes. to do a 5K in, in 16 minutes. Yeah. How many shoes do I run through then? Each shoe, like 300 to 350 miles, you should switch. It's like a car. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I wear one pair of shoes until it falls apart. And I'm talking about those same shoes are still worn in practice. They're worn in workouts, they're not changed. So, you know, I don't know if I ran 300 miles, but I, I for sure say I was damn close. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the most underrated Gatorade flavor, bro? Um, I would say fruit punch. Fruit punch? Yeah. Probably great. Glacier Um, Any Gator light. How do y'all handle pressure? For me personally, I think my support system is just always there when I need them. Another reason why I chose NC State to go to college is just because it's just a huge family environment. It's hard to not get in your head, and I feel like the people around me just help to ground me, so. You went to NC State because they're the best over there, right? Yeah. Uh, Past three. Uh, he didn't like that one. I know. <laughs> he did not yeah, like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's cool, and like, for you just going to like a top five college in the state, I mean, it's cool. In the state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring up the final four. Ooh. Again. We'll see. I wasn't playing on that team. You see, off the record, we got a lot of hate going on. I love it. I just asked the questions. I ain't okay. sorry nothing. I ain't say nothing. I just asked the questions. Personally, I feel like pressure is a privilege. Mm -hmm. And like, if you're doing something right, you actually, at some point, you're going to feel pressure. Also, I remember my why. Like, why am I doing this? And like, my goal behind it. I'm gonna have to agree with the pressure because when there's rankings out there and like you're ranked first, you're ranked second, and you're ranked third, you know, there's gonna be a lot of people that are out there saying that they don't deserve that. Social media is huge, like with that right now. You know, you look in the comments and you scroll or like, there's just so much hate out there. Absolutely. And I think that just motivates me because I wanna show people why I think I'm that ranking. So in essence, you like being the villain. <laughs> <laughs> Not the villain, I just, you know, putting your head down. Yeah, competitiveness, competitive, putting your yeah. head down and working and yeah. like don't, you don't have to tell someone you're number one, you just show it to them. Yeah, you wasn't paid to be number one, you earned being number yeah. one, exactly. When you talk about being the villain, that's something that can come with it um, to a certain extent. Uh, you might have to be the villain in a certain in a certain time. Whatever happens, like, 
with pressure, sometimes it's gonna create that out of you and you just have to just deal with it. So, you know, people talking about you online all the time, saying terrible things, attacking people you love, like it's really just a crazy place. So I think just like, like she said, having the support system to be able to just go through it all and, and stay grounded and stay humble um, and kind of block that all out. For me in my journey with pressure and everything, I, I remember even in this recent playoff run I just had with my team, and we made it to, in essence, for people who don't know basketball, it's, we made it to the semifinals of the NBA, in essence, right? And we lost, unfortunately. But in times where it felt like, you know, there's so much going on and you always need a little motivation, uh, my, the family at Gatorade, they, they put billboards in Minnesota up with me and the Gatorade sign and gave me like motivational little quotes and stuff. So I remember going through that whole process and I remember driving up to the arena and seeing that and being like, man, maybe I do got the energy to give a little more today. I walked in with such a great mentality because of the family and I think they really took care of me, especially in this recent playoffs run. So shout out to them, really appreciate y'all. Would you say like the preparation and like the mindset part of it is like almost as big as like? Yes, we all have the talent to be the best at our sport. We've all proven it. I think when I started being an athlete, I realized that for the NBA especially, it's about 80% mentality. 15% is like the skill part and then 5% is situation. Definitely, I would say mentally, you gotta be locked in. A lot of people don't understand what it takes to be great at the level that y'all are at and the balance, not only with the sport, but with school and everything. So what is one thing you think gets overlooked or underappreciated about the high school athletic experience? Overlooked, I think, obviously they don't see the sacrifices that we have to make. For example, I can't go out with my friends and you know I run at six in the morning, I can't, mm -hmm. can't do that. Things like that are overlooked for sure. Yeah, I think very similar just having to leave home at 15, like move away from my parents and my friends, mm -hmm. having to make new friends. And that's hard. You've really been known to be around your parents at night and now yeah, exactly. you're by yourself all the time. And you don't really have those social skills yet. It's a process to like learn how to meet new people mm -hmm. that you didn't grow up with pre-K through. Mm -hmm. So I think just stuff like that, that type of sacrifice. But at the end of the day, like it's just your sport keeps you going. Mm -hmm. I, I want to agree with the sacrifices because it's the one thing that people don't see. I miss pretty much every holiday or like every social event with my friends, like my entire senior year. I miss graduation. It's just one of the big ones. Wow, but graduation you didn't even do? Yeah, I miss graduation. I didn't have prom, so that's what I missed. I yeah, missed all the miss... prom. I went straight to college, right? When yep. graduation was over, I went straight to college literally the next yeah. day. I missed prom my junior year too, so it's just like, it's the things that people don't see that like it's really tough, but I think all of us can agree that our sport just keeps us going and it's, it's all worth it in the end. Absolutely. What does it mean to you to be recognized by Gatorade as a national player of the year in your respective sport? I say for me, it's just a huge blessing overall, just looking at that entire list, even through all the other sports. I go and through all basketball, football, a lot of many names that everybody knows, and even everybody here today are the best athletes in their sports. So I feel like just being a part of that is just makes your name stand as one of the greatest in high school sports. And after high school, we're all looking to continue to go out and just perform at the best that we can at the college or pro level. I love that, I love that. If you're getting this award, I can guarantee you all, you're on the right track. <laughs> so I can guarantee you the track record for the award speaks for itself. If you could leave a message to your younger self today, what would it be? To never stop, don't give up, stay humble, and just keep going. Regardless of what happened, just keep going. I'd say everything happens for a reason, and you know, there are big things coming your way, so yeah, just be patient. Looking back at it, like, it all went by so fast, just like being a kid and, and being able to just do nothing sometimes. Enjoy high school. Yeah, exactly. No bills, no, no, no anything, no responsibilities. <laughs> right. You yeah. get to go play your favorite sports, come home, mom, dad got the food ready on the table. You get to talk about it. You have a safety blanket, you know, now all y'all entering a place where it's, like you said, it's all on you. Like, I think just telling myself to be really present in those moments and enjoy like the time I have with my friends. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Um, just stay in the moment and 
um, just keep enjoying your sport. If you lose love for the sport, then why are you doing it in the first place? Now, y'all ladies gotta love what y'all do, because I ain't just waking up to run. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't. So. No, I, I, I ain't doing that. I ain't gonna lie. I got so much respect for y'all, because I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now, but truly, y'all uh, are gonna be connected. This is a, such a special award to even be like nominated and then to win it. I still have my player of the year in the front of my house. It's like a centerpiece. So it's not something that um, you take lightly. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh. Thank you. Wow, that, that back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, that was crazy. Thank you. 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 Thank you